One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite 666, and you are watching me play Doom 3. We are back. Finding an imp hiding behind our doorway that we want to go through. He's just waiting to pounce on us. Well, I'm gonna get ambushed here for sure. Pinky! Pinky tried to do a somersault forward. <laughs> Anyways, we're back on our way to meet up with Swan. Is it the sound of a monster closet opening? Or just environmental noise? Is there more pinkies? I have grenades. Does Pinky want to play fetch with the grenades? We're out of pinkies, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways. Oh. The monster was behind me the whole time. Except for that one. Anyways, I've completely lost whatever train of thought I had. Stop that! Stupid ass gobbledygooks! Come here, Mr. Imp. I hear a revenue. Alright, Mr. Skelly Bones, man, where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? train of thought has long since left me. What were we doing? Oh yeah. I'm trying to go meet up with Swan after not sending not sending for reinforcements. Because after thinking about it, I've decided that, you know reinforcements would be great and all. But then we run the risk of all the demons and monsters, you know, overrunning our reinforcements. And getting on our ships and going back to Earth or something like that. That would be bad. We don't want that to happen. Sarge was pretty pissed. Who's making crunchy, weird monster noises? It would be a crunchy, weird monster, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine that. So, I can't get up. I must be going around. Warning. Flow control system failure. Toxins identified. Execute cleanup procedure. Find the pump. Control panel to shut down the malfunctioning pump. I bet if I touch that, it's really, really bad.
never wanted to kill a gobbledygook with my pistol, but I just did. Because, well, I was dumb and had my pistol out for blowing up explosive barrels. There's armor there. Push over large things, Mr. Imp. That's a workplace occupational hazard. I'll have you know I was almost killed by one of those. Last time. video for. Welcome to the UAC Maintenance Department. This video will provide you with the necessary tools and information to do your job efficiently and safely. A safe worker is a happy worker, and your safety is our number one priority at UAC. Observe all signs and follow all procedures to keep you and your co-workers out of harm's way. Cleanup is one of the most important aspects of what we do in maintenance. This phase of our job keeps everyone safe, and research has shown that working in a clean and toxic-free environment has a positive benefit on overall productivity. Power generation on Mars produces two byproducts, steam and green goo. We vent the steam all over the base through vents, floor grates, cleverly placed pipes, and pretty much many place else. The goo is a result of the MFS process reacting with core elements in the Martian soil. It is not radioactive, but it is quite toxic. Remove all toxic spills at once. Hazmat suits are the best way to protect yourself when a spill occurs, and if you happen to come in contact with the goo, report immediately to a medical station for a scrub down. After a few days in confinement, you should be ready to report back to work. Report any rule violations to your immediate supervisor, and don't forget to read your employee handbook for additional rules and information. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, green goop pad, no touch. Also, I stole Nick Sato Wages PDF. PDF, PDA. He's got email from Henry Varela. Pump malfunction. Nicholas, I've redirected control for the main pump to the flow service terminal located in the maintenance platform above this area. If the main pump should crack or malfunction and cause a spill, the only way to shut it down would be from there. Entry into the pump room would just be too dangerous. If you have any questions, please see me. Thank you, Henry. And from Scott Johnson, Lock Dermament's Mr. Sadowage. I fear the rumors I've been hearing might be actually be true. The other day, someone from my team was cleaning up a toxic spill in Delta when they said they s actually saw some sort of creature down there. He didn't know what it was, but it really scared him and uh, it got us thinking. We can't be too careful. I've locked some ammunition and combat armor in the cabinet by the monorail airlock door here in Sector 2. If you ever need it, need to get in, it, the code is 483. Right. Has my response. This is the audio log of Nicholas Edgeway, member of UAC Mars Hazmat Response Team, dated October 1st, 2145. We have concluded that the Martian atmosphere is wreaking havoc on the exhaust valve seals in the standard number 5 disposal grounds. The engineers cannot explain the high level of contaminants in our internal atmosphere. Air scrubbers and filtration systems all seem to be operating at normal levels. A small layer of particulate is making it into the storage area. This is the EAP Director Charles Hollis informs me that the personnel won't be harmed by these contaminants in the air, but we've seen that they do cause a corrosive reaction when introduced to the rubber compounds used in the storage systems. Effective immediately, all number 5 disposal drums must be locked away in at least a class 2 rated transport media. Assessment ends.
there would be a Cacodemon show up to harass me while I am the one. Go away, Cacodemon. Nobody likes you. Alright. Alert! Filter rupture detected. Hazardous toxic levels. Rupture in primary filtration canister. Execute emergency shutdown. Pump station shut down. Yes. Okay. So, let's carry on. All right, let's see if we can get down this ladder. Without grievously injuring myself. Success! So, let's go back to where there was crap all over the floor. I'll walk around the long way, I guess, because I'm not going back through that door. Because, of course, we have like more monsters. Hey, look. Now I can walk on the floor and it won't kill me, probably. Hooray! I am not being killed by walking on the floor. Hit. Hit. I don't need armor. with your pistachios. Hey, there's stuff in this corner here. What you went, something's gonna... Something's gonna... Nothing, nothing popped out and went booga booga booga. I'm slightly disappointed, ladies and gentlemen. I was expecting something to pop out and go ooga booga booga. It sounded like something going skitter, skitter, skitter. It sounds like Pinky! Oh! Pinky bit my face. He brought a friend. Here. Carry on our merry way. I keep, I keep leaning. I'm, I'm noticing. I keep leaning over into the side of my, uh, <laughs> my camera view. I need to not do that. Hey. Oh, you know what? I bet would be really good. Chainsaw was not really good, ladies and gentlemen. It was, in fact, a terrible idea. Oh well. Well, I'm not going back that way. It's going to knock shit over in the way. I don't think I left any health back anyways. So let's just use that! Alright, so, chainsaw, not good for little spider butts. Bullet thrower. Better for little fart butt spiders. Fart butt spiders? Nope. It's the end of the poop spider tunnel. Yeah, 
I shouldn't have picked up that red kit. Hey. Who invited the little poop spiders? It's like toxic crap on the floor in places. I should very definitely not step in it. On the other hand, there are bound to be monsters who are going to show up and go ooga booga booga and try and knock me off. Like that guy there. Have a grenade. Grenades are not good guns for killing a revenant on precarious platforms floating on toxic goop. Hello, gobbledygook. Where did you come from? Oh boy, you done give me a fright. You're an imp somewhere. I'm gonna go give him a bullet or six. Yeah, I killed your gobbledygook friend. Where are you, Mr. Imp? There you am. Alright, let's touch this PDA here. Anthony Garza. No audio logs. He's got email from Michael Abrams, new rocket launcher. Tony, I'm sending you one of the new rocket launchers that we've received from the Marines. Please take some of the surplus toxic barrels lying around outside and blow them up. Be careful not to hurt yourself. The area damage is much larger than previous Laraka rocket launcher models. Thank you, Michael Abrams. Oh boy. This is from Michael Abrams, our new rocket launcher. Original message, Mr. Abrams, thank you for the rocket launcher, but I will need more than the pre-installed five rockets for it. We have quite a few barrels here that need to be destroyed. I've placed it on my weapon rack, weapons rack for now, and we'll begin destroying the barrels once I have more ammo. Thank you. And then the message is, I put in a request for more rocket ammo. I didn't realize how many barrels we needed destroyed. And then junk mail from Martian Buddy. Sleep away. Dear valued customer, are you tired at work often? Do you feel like you have less energy? Introducing the new and improved Sleep Away Pill. Now better than ever, the new Sleep Away Pill will keep you feeling refreshed and going strong all day. For more information, visit www.martianbuddy.com. So, there's a rocket launcher around here somewhere. There's rockets. Hey, looks like a rocket launcher. I just have to be careful and not let him kill myself with it. Let's go outside. This is an outside toy. Two hits to a revenant? Okay. Where you at, Mr. Skeleton Monster Buddy Boy? Where you at? There you at. That's All right. Can't go that way, so I gotta go in here and like climb up shit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
pistachios are nice and all. Are you dead? Yes, okay. I wasn't sure if you died or if you just decided, now nah, I'm just gonna go whoop 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 and try and duck out of your range. But no, ladies and gentlemen, the monster did done really die. Alright. Need more rockets. Monsters, no Heidi's. How disappointing. PDA for Jeffrey Mullen. Let's look at it. No audio logs for him either. From Henry Varela. Pump malfunction. Jeff, the main waste processing unit here in Sector 1 is running at a higher pressure level than it was rated for. I'm very concerned about the stability of the whole system. One fault or stress fracture in any of the lines could cause doom for the whole mechanism. Ha, doom. This processing system was here... D blah, blah, blah. This process is... Let's try that again. This processing system here was never designed to process that much waste, but they keep shipping it to us. We urgently need a new pump here before this one fails. Thank you, Henry. And then from Greg Brandenburg, Toxic Waste Storage. Mr. Moen, it is very important that you remember to store toxic waste barrels in their proper location. Having volatile substances so close to where people work is very dangerous, especially around doorways and narrow passages. If one of those barrels exploded, it could cause a lot of damage and someone might be seriously hurt or worse, killed! Please address this problem immediately, Brandenburg. Hmm. So, that's probably why there's... Explosive barrels all over. Making progress, are we? And in such a hurry to find us. To find me. There's no need to rush. I am everywhere, and everything here is mine. It's a pity you did not alert the fleet, but it is of no consequence. I'll alert them myself. They will come to the rescue and be consumed by my legion. We will use their ships to bring this hell to Earth. You won't live to see it. And you will die long before you have a chance to warn them. Ah, see, ladies and gentlemen. Calling the fleet would have been a bad idea. Not that it mattered, because Richard was just gonna fucking do it himself. Alright. Oh, I see. You taught me as the stairs fall apart. Alright. Looks like I have to ride things up and down. Yeah. What about my lungs filling with toxic poop? The slow death? And also maybe some mashed potatoes? Being bad, Dr. Petruger. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Petruger is being very bad. Being very bad. Also, floating head things! Who's going blind? Due to the threat of external contamination, hazard door sealed. Okay, well. What was the code for this? Somebody had a code. Attention. Due to the threat of external contamination, hazard door sealed. No. No. Wrong button. Wrong button. Went back too far. Was it you? 483? Hey, it was. This was the proper thing. 
Alright, hazard doors are sealed because it's really fucking toxic in there. That door won't open. So, I guess we're gonna go wander around elsewhere. You don't want my soul, but you're your buddy. Rocket! Rocket launcher! There we go. I don't want to try and shoot Lost Souls with a rocket launcher, ladies and gentlemen. That would go very, very, very poorly. That would be a waste of rocket ammo. <laughs> it would probably be a waste of my health, because I would no doubt injure myself. Alright. So, the trigger is taunting me. Because, well, he's a dick. Uh, yeah, it's the right thing. I hear you, Impy Poo. I know you're here somewhere. There you are. Oh, yeah? Something sounds like a monkey. Oh, we just traded the face rockets. My face rockets hurt him more, though. Warning. I hear another one of you assholes here. I hear you, Mr. Revenant. I've got a rocket launcher with your name on it. Unless you, like, spawn in right behind me. Because then I will not have a rocket launcher with your name on it. That was overkill. But it was fun because he went way up. Yeah, there's that weirdo sound again. There's a fat zombie in the closet. I win. somewhere. I hear him. Let's back. I see you doing things in my Explorer. You better not be messing up my recording. So there was a map right back around. This all seems to just loop around and whatnot. Yep. door, got to vent the lethal gas. So, looks like I gotta go back this way. I 
I win. Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not paying attention to my time. It is like... Time to wrap it up for this part. So, we're going to go ahead and do just that. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play at some point in the future that might make for a good series like this, or if you just wish to give me a shout, give me some feedback, let me know how I'm doing. Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? If I'm doing bad, what can I do to go from doing bad to doing good? Or if you just wish to inform me that I am a terrible person because, uh... I didn't really stop Protruber from bringing ships here like he wants to because he's gonna do it anyways. Whether I sent the comm signal out for reinforcements or not, you may inform me of such in the comment box below. PC and PS4 only for recording suggestions, as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos, and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Mm, excuse me. Point them in my general direction, so maybe they might potentially swing by and be amused by the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. I'm Manawilly666, and I will see you all next time.